morning, dragons. I'm Mr. Salerno, and this is Flame, and we want to welcome you to the news of Camelot. Today's Monday, January 4th, 2021. It's 2021, Flame. We made it. It's a new year, dragons. How exciting is that? Well, before we get started on our new 2021 show, dragons, let's take a moment to pause, put our hand on our heart, and say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now pause for the moment of silence. Thanks, dragons, and flame. The sun is going to rise on this beautiful Monday at 7.28 in the morning, and it's going to set at 5.01. We're past 5 o'clock, flame. All right, the sun's going to be out just a little bit longer. We're past winter solstice, and we get a little bit more sunlight for about six more months. So that is fabulous. And speaking of fabulous, flame, because it's a new year, it's a coincidence, not really, that our Positivity Project character trait this week is hope and optimism. And Flame, you would agree that every year when there is something new in the calendar, we try to hit the reset button to be our best self, right? You've said that a lot this year. How can we be our best self, especially when people need us the most? And on New Year's Day, often people set new resolutions, maybe for the week, maybe for the month, maybe for the whole year, but they take an optimistic approach and a positive mindset into the new year. People that have a lot of optimism are generally cheerful, they inspire others, they're encouraging, and they have a positive vision of what the future looks like, not only for themselves, but for the people around them. They're not just positive because they like to be positive all the time, but they take situations and they try to see how they can extract the good in those situations, right? Flame, have you had a positive interaction with people around you these first few days of the new year? Yeah, absolutely, right? Just in the grocery store or when we were getting gasoline, there is just ways that we can smile, make sure people feel like they're in a safe place or just acknowledging their efforts, no matter what it is. It might be getting something off the shelf for someone or allowing someone to pass or complimenting someone. There are all kinds of ways that you can be positive and have an optimistic approach. Even if it's a rainy day, even if things aren't going the way that we want it to go, we can hit the reset buttons. And when we get to the end of our show, Dragons, we're gonna talk a little bit about setting goals and setting our goals high and not stopping until we get there. And da -da -da -da, it's time for the birthday box. It's still 2021 and we still have birthdays, Flame. And surprisingly enough, looks like we have five we've already had five birthdays in 2021 so let's get going january 1st adam agrahara in first grade happy birthday adam january 2nd two birthdays clarissa cruz legay in second grade happy birthday clarissa and cassie leonard in sixth grade happy birthday cassie and on january 3rd we also had two birthdays christopher Contreras. In second grade, happy birthday, Christopher. And Julie Sharbaji in fifth grade. Happy birthday, Julie. That is outstanding. Now, we don't have any mail, necessarily, but we got this really cool message from Lily Thomas. And you might not be able to recognize Lily in this picture, but she wants to say hello and that she spotted you in the neighborhood during winter break. And she wanted to send us a picture all bundled up on one of the coldest days. You might remember last week when it was super super chilly and we were bundled up we might have been outside but lily discovered flame in someone's medieval front yard so we thought that was cool and these snowmen creatures that were out in the front thanks lily that was very thoughtful of you so we mentioned that goals right flame you have goals i have goals but we want to think about what a good goal might be let's say for this week and then we can build on that as the month goes on and as the year goes on. 
And one way that we can help remember our goals is to wear a hooded sweatshirt or wear a sweatshirt. Yeah, let's do it, Flame. Tomorrow, when we have synchronous learning, it's our first synchronous learning back is tomorrow, January 5th, Dragons. We are encouraging everyone to wear a sweatshirt. Why, you ask? Well, when we're comfortable and we feel good, we might have hope and optimism for what can be in front of us and how we can approach it. So we want to be in the best possible mood. We want to be in the best possible physical space. So we want you to wear a sweatshirt, get comfortable, and reflect on the goals that you want to have for this week. If you want to share them with your teacher or if you want to share them with someone, we would love to hear what your goals are for this week, this month, or for this year. So, on behalf of Flame, I'm Mr. Slerno. It's going to be a great year, Dragons. We feel good about it. We know you want to feel good about it, and we're here to support you. We can't wait to see you tomorrow, and we hope you have a wonderful Monday. Thanks, everyone.